I'm back at the point where you have to export the loop as an audio file. And this is actually pretty important because you, you're given a couple different options here and always put it on 24 but this is this is another very important thing the this determines how many pieces of information are gonna make up your sample and well how off like if you audio files are a bunch of little dots you could think they're like pegs that are holding a string up and this pretty much determines how smooth that line's gonna be so if you go down here that's gonna be there's gonna be as few pegs as possible to still dictate the sound that you're recording but if you go up here it's gonna be very smooth but last time I did this when I did the very smooth one is consistent but the kind of it lost a lot of the punch and a lot of punch comes from just the discoherencies in the in the waveform. So I'm just gonna go with that. And feel free to export them all the different, uh, <laughs> like at all the different qualities because that's you may find something that I didn't. All right. So next, if you don't already have it, you can get it for free. I'll probably put the link in the video right here, but. It's this really great program called Audacity, and I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. And for those who are familiar with it, it's easily one of my favorite applications. It's so it's great. It's free, and it's very powerful. It's kind of it's not very fancy, but it gets the job done. And in this case, it's great for doing what I'm trying to do. So you're gonna go up to Project import audio and on this folder wait. hmm no. where are my libraries okay. no items wow this is weird um now I have to find the sample. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Alright. And here is, what was this? House kick drum 2. Alright, so now we have our kick drum right here. We have four of them. And they sound pretty nice already. But what's what this program allows you to do is just look straight up at the audio file like that is the wave right here and so if you go in really close you'll see these little tiny dots I'm gonna go up to the click where it's a little bit more obvious so all these little dots that's what determines that's what I was talking about when you look at the Hertz and so pretty much that dictates how many of these little dots are gonna make up your wave and so right here, this you can see the whole kick drum, and you have your click, and then your body over here. And so, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna. Last time I did this, every, each one of the kick drums I had sounded different, and you can already see like these two are not gonna look the same. Like let's zoom into this one, and. So these are very sharp peaks, and then let's zoom in the other one. Oh, and I'm right and left clicking to zoom in and out. So uh, these these are all about the same. But now what we're gonna do? I'm gonna listen to all of them. They all sound about the same to me. So I'm going to whoop, zoom whoop, zoom out, and you can press this to just zoom to the right amount for the whole audio clip. And I'm going to select all these and I'm just going to get rid of them because I'm not worried about that right now. So you do this, scissor it out. And so now, press this again and we'll zoom in even closer. So this is the kick drum in question right here. And the use this tool up here to select because when you select over here, it thinks you're talking about over there. And if you press play, it's going to play after that point. Or if you don't have anything selected, it's not going to play anything. So that's that's what we're starting with right now. 
and so right now I'm gonna zoom in on the click because that's where I'm gonna start alright so this is the click of the drum right here and what I wanna do is I just wanna make it plastered up against each side of the see this is the zero decibel I mean that's, that's the one decibel line or whatever I mean but pretty much that's the top amount that you can go to in audio like in a way or uh, in a wave file or any kind of audio file that's the peak and when people say oh you're clipping that's because your notes are actually running into this and going over and kinda like let's see like that and see how they're going through and turning into square kinda tops like that's what they people mean when they say clipping and you don't I mean sometimes you want that but not always and so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to make these really fat without uh without clipping so I'm gonna get as close as possible so pretty much as loud as possible without clipping is the idea right now and so last time this took me a couple uh it took me a couple I'd have to re-render the file and then open it up again because I wasn't able to get quite what all the oomph out of it in this one because you can only drag the dot up as far as it can right there. So, so that's these are all pretty maximized for this run through right now. So I'm I'm gonna this one's acting kind of weird. I see what it is. I have to put this like right here, and then do it like that. Okay. And so now, we're getting slightly more. Um, I would like in the future to have more of these. Like, if you open up a wave file of one of your favorite house songs, you you can actually straight look at the kick, and you're gonna see it's probably gonna have a lot more of these peaks and valleys than mine has right now which is unfortunate that means that I could have chosen a better click for the sample but you know whatever can't be solved right now I'm actually gonna get a fab one right here and I mean this is also experimentation at the same time too so don't take this religiously So now, so this is another place. Yeah, that's all. Kind of peaked out. And so right here, this is what we don't want when I did that. I accidentally kind of did too much. And another trick that you can do is you can open one of the files that has a kick drum in Audacity that you just really like and it sticks out to you and just put that underneath yours and you'll be able to mimic it or like just try to get the same kind of tail because the tail on this one is gonna look different it's gonna be it's about what you want sometimes you want one that like comes off right here so you can have a powerful sub bass that has something to say after it but most times you're not gonna have that so now I'm going to save project I'm just gonna go ahead and do that real fast and now I'm going to export as wave file. And so I'm gonna go back up to test folder. I just have this and I'm gonna say test two. And now I'm gonna say new project Im oh, not that <laughs> project import audio and kick drum wait what? Oh yeah couldn't see the whole ending this one so now we have that one again keep in mind this is the ghetto fab way of doing it but yeah, it's, it's it done actually I'll I'll 